Hello and welcome back to Voxterra. If you have not done so, please do subscribe to my channel. Today I want to share with you an article from EcoWatch titled 20,000 ton oil spill in Russian Arctic has catastrophic consequences for wildlife by Olivia Roseanne, June 4th, 2020. But what's more, I want to give you what I call, I'm calling an environmental four for one here. Okay, four for one. One, this oil spill shows climate change is here and now. It shows that climate change, fossil fuel driven climate change that is, is setting dire feedback loops in motion. It shows that the oil and gas industry and our reliance on more toxic a more toxic economy, be it fossil fuels, nuclear energy, pesticides, herbicides, the, the disposable products, that our, our reliance on a more toxic form of economy is becoming more dangerous as the climate is changing rapidly. And that there are other harms that no one disputes from the excessive use of fossil fuel petrochemicals, which you should always put in there when you are discussing climate change. Back to the article. Russian President Vladimir Putin declared an emergency after 20,000 tons of diesel fuel spilled into the Arctic Circle. The accident was the largest oil spill in terms of volume in modern Russian history, the world, according to the World Wildlife Fund. The oil spread around 7.5 miles from the fuel site, turning the Ambernaya River bright red a total of 135 square miles. The incident led to catastrophic consequences and we will be seeing the repercussions for years to come, said Sergei Verkovets, coordinator of Arctic projects for World Wildlife Fund or World Wildlife Federation Russia. I point out his credits to show you the environmental movement can, there are environmentalists within all countries that we, we can work together internationally. From the article, the accident may have partly been caused by the climate crisis. CNN pointed out that because melting permafrost may have caused the storage tank to sink. So, melting permafrost as the climate heats cause that storage tank to sink. So you see things are becoming less stable where toxins are buried and hidden. Now, the places that seem stable are becoming destabilized due to our rapidly changing climate. And that permafrost is melting because the Arctic, according to the article, is warming twice as fast as the rest of the world. So that warming Arctic, that melting permafrost is also what the article doesn't mention is releasing methane another heat trapping gas, causing the horrific feedback loops. Yes, first we've been burning fossil fuels excessively, but now that burning is triggering other forces in motion that are taking on a life of their own, like the melting permafrost of the Arctic. Further, that giant oil spill illustrates the fact or highlights the fact that even if you still want to accept industry propaganda, that all of our excessive burning of fossil fuels cannot possibly change the atmosphere, even if you want to accept that. No one is denying, there are no industry propagandists denying that there are other harmful consequences of the excessive use of oil and gas and petrochemicals. I hope you found this show helpful. If you did, please subscribe, please share, please click the notification bell so you know when I'm putting up another video. Please comment in a mannerly fashion, like, and become a supporter of Patreon to help make this channel a sustainable effort. And until next time, peace be with you.